Hello everyone, welcome back to Hacking with Ken. So basically in today's video, we are going to be talking about one of the most, uh, what do we call it, the underrated tool in OSINT, it's called Spiderfoot. Now, Spiderfoot, uh, it's not really famous. I mean, you probably never even heard of it, but it's one of the best OSINT tools out there. I mean, I literally use it personally to do my investigations. So first of all all you need to do is type in sudo apt install and then you will say spider foot now if you i haven't uh, already installed it it will install but uh, i have already installed it so i will say sudo spider foot and then to run it i will type hyphen l then i will say 127.0.0.1 and then the port number now the spider foot really works well on web interfaces so we can just copy in this URL and open up our Firefox. Um, I, 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 uh, I really like this tool. I love the tools that give web interfaces. Uh, uh, that is why I love Nessus, OpenWAS, and Kismet. These type of tools are literally my favorite. So Spiderfoot has uh, become my favorite since then. Okay, uh, when you launch it, it will be uh, like this. Okay, uh, we have no scans history. That's correct. But we need to set it up first. When I say set it up first, it doesn't mean we have to install uh, some things or whatever. But we need API keys from some platforms. You see the lock there. Uh, the some platforms, some uh, basically topics or some we call it the points have blocks uh, locks in front of them. It means to access their features you need their API key. So uh, if we look at here, you need abstract API key. You can just visit the website and create your own API key. It's not that much. I mean, it's not that even hard. You need three API keys and it will be guided to you. I mean, you can just click on here and it will give you all the options, all the, uh, all the things you need to do to get that API key. And most of the platforms here are really, really free. So you won't have to worry about paying any of them and then you need to add all of this if you want to work with spiderfoot really well spiderfoot literally scans with the 100 plus osint tools and it can be used for threat hunt uh, sorry it can be used in crime investigations to find a missing person and it's really helpful in conducting an osint investigation so i would say use spiderfoot instead of every other tool so spiderfoot is literally one of my favorite tools out there so if you have the api key just uh, you can type in here and then save the changes and it will take some time to change this uh, to uh, set the changes but uh, you have to wait a little then you can go on and if you want to perform scan or you can wait for the next video where we we will perform scans together uh, you can type the scan name the scan target it can be any of them it can be a person name and an ip address a website or anything or you can launch by module or you can launch by by required data or you can launch all footprint investigate uh, but this will help when you need to find a missing person so and spider foot this is all about setting up spider foot i hope you will get the api uh, yourselves and if you face any problem just uh, comment down and i will guide you how to get that api from that, uh, that specific platforms so this is all for today i will see you guys in the next video